Having accrued nearly five decades of invaluable experience, Ronald James Bales is a senior finance and accounting professional, as well as a renowned author. To prepare for his career, Mr. Bales attended Oregon State University, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts in 1972 and a Master of Business Administration in 1974. Shortly after that, he became employed by Tektronics Inc. in Portland, Oregon, gaining early exposure to the field before joining the accounting firm of Nelson and Ruper CPAs in his hometown of The Dells, Oregon. Continuing to progress in his endeavors, Mr. Bales eventually became a licensed Certified Public Accountant, or CPA, and a Certified Financial Planner, or CFP. He became a partner within the firm of Ruper, Onstott, Bales, and Brell, CPAs, a position he held from 1975 to 1988 when he spearheaded his own firm. For 19 years, Mr. Bales served as the owner of his eponymously named practice, Ronald J. Bales CPA CFP, until his retirement in 2007. In addition to his work as a CPA and CFP, he taught business courses at the local college, Columbia Gorge Community College. He was also a director, board member, and instructor for the Oregon Society of Certified Public Accountants, where he currently maintains membership. Mr. Bale's advice to budding CPAs and CFPs is to pay attention to detail and remain aware of changing tax laws. The industry is ever-changing and a great place to grow. Outside of his primary work, Mr. Bales was actively involved in the Boy Scouts of America, having even been nominated to the Eagle Scouts Hall of Fame. Two years prior to his marriage, he led a Boy Scout troop in the Dells. In addition, he taught skiing at Mount Hood Ski Bowl in Oregon for two years and has twice participated in the Portland Marathon. When Mr. Bales retired, he began writing to remain productive. He proved to be a prolific writer, and in 2021, he published the young adult novel, Eagle Creek. The tale chronicles the story of Cody Crosby, who attempts to solve the murder of his best friend's fiance. Although the novel is part fiction and part nonfiction, there are three names in the book of real people in Mr. Bale's personal life who influenced him greatly. These people are Cindy, his little sister, Robert, his brother, and Sergeant George Idemiller, his Boy Scout troop leader. Mr. Bales is currently working on a second book, Consequences, inspired by his desire to speak to and turn the tides on crime rates. The story follows two sisters, one a doctor and the other a private detective with the Vancouver Police Department. The detective, Carmen, works with schools to teach youths and criminals being released from incarceration to consider the consequences of their actions. In the coming years, Mr. Bales hopes to complete writing and publish consequences, as well as dedicate more time to reading. As a family-oriented man, he also looks forward to spending more time with family members. He is particularly proud of his daughter, Michelle Lynn Bales, whom he considers the light of his life. In addition, Mr. Bales hopes to honor the life of his late sister, Cindy, who passed away from a head injury as a result of falling out of a hospital bed right before her sixth birthday. From the pain and financial burdens his parents took on following the accident, her passing inspired him to pursue a career that would allow him to be financially stable. He is grateful for the time he had with her and the lessons he has learned in his life's journey.